I'd love for you to give one or two pieces of advice, something that a CEO, CHRO, CXO, whatever, can implement immediately that helps them foster business growth through effective people management. Yeah, I love that. Um, you know, I think, I think first and foremost, the CEO, the COO, the CFO, and the chief people officer all have to recognize that they are coming to the same business situation or challenge or decision, but applying different lenses. Typically, if you have an, a, a CFO and a, and, a, and a chief people officer in the same room, the CFO or the COO for that matter is going to focus first through the lens of performance. What's the bottom line? How are we doing versus last, you know, last week, last month, last quarter's financial projections, right? And so they're applying that performance first lens to a situation. Well, the chief people officer is walking in and immediately applying first the people lens, rightly so. That's what you put that person in that role to, to lead, to be people focused, because as an organization, everyone always says, you know, people are, are our most important asset. Well, that's great. But if only the HR leader in the room is focusing first through the people lens, what ends up happening is if you picture that almost as a Venn diagram, right, where performance and people start to overlap, there's a third circle there around process. We have to have processes if we're going to grow, if we're going to replicate best practices, if we're going to engineer out inefficiencies, and if you're going to be able to scale as an organization. But if one executive is walking into the room applying a performance first lens, and another executive is walking into the room applying a people first lens, they're going to create processes that diverge just by definition, because they're looking at a similar situation through a different lens. And so the action that I would challenge all executives to take first is this, meet at that intersection of people, process, and performance, which not to sound hokey, but it's purpose, it's your why, it's your mission, it's why you are in business to begin with. That is at the core or should be of that Venn diagram of people, process, and performance. And what I often find is it's not as simple as just saying, well, the, you know, the HR leader is going to is going to first think about people and the CFO is first going to think about, you know, bottom line performance. That may be true, but what usually ends up happening is they have not aligned and confirmed alignment on the purpose in the middle mm -hmm. in a very long time. So they have to do that very real foundational work first. If they are not aligned on that, if they are not crystal clear on that, their performance will suffer and constantly lag. Their processes will always be divergent and their people, their best people are going to leave because you haven't given them a reason to stay, to believe and to contribute toward that performance that you want following the processes that you've put in place. So that's the very first action is to really get solid, crystal clear and aligned on your purpose.